Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome, if you are new with us, welcome back if you've been here before. Today, we are going to Six Flags. If you guys have been here before, you guys know how much I absolutely love Six Flags. It's so sunny right now. So I am in Aguam right now. We are almost there. Um, I'm so excited. This is the first time I've gone this season. They just opened on Monday, today is Sunday. So this is literally the first week that they've been open. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love roller coasters. They're a huge part of my life. For those who are new here, I have been going to Six Flags New England since the time that I was little. Um, I have older siblings, so I've gone basically before I was even born. And we used to go every weekend as a child, and it's just something as an adult I've kept up with. I buy a season pass every year, and I go pretty much every year. And it is my bucket list to go to every single Six Flags in the U.S. <laughs> I always get a little nervous at the beginning of the year because I'm always scared that I'm not going to fit on rides. I think we're going to be just fine this year. I really do believe that. But um, it, it's always just like a very nervous thing for me. In high school, it was a lot bigger. So I didn't fit on a lot of rides for a long time. And that's where that stems from for me. But I'm so excited. Uh, I did accidentally buy a platinum pass this year instead of a diamond pass. So I do have to go to guest services as soon as I get there to get that fixed. But I'm hoping that'll be a nice, easy fix. And then we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. The reason I want Diamond instead of Platinum is Platinum, you can only go to Six Flags New England. Diamond, you can go to any other park in the US. And for those of you who don't know, I love a good Six Flags. I love to travel. I love to just go. So it's always handy to just have somewhere to go. Like, oh, I can just go to Six Flags in a different state. I love that. My three favorites are New England, Great Escape, which is in New York, and then Six Flags Great Adventure yep, and Safari, which is in New Jersey. So those are like my top three parks. Those are actually, what are you doing? Those are actually some of the only parks I've really been to, but those are all within like a five hour drive from me. Like Six Flags New England and Six Flags Great Escape are both about two hours from me and Jersey is about a four hour drive. So like nice, relaxing drives, really nice. I am going to continue driving and I will see you as soon as we are gonna get into the park. <laughs> we are literally almost there. I discovered a new Starbucks, so I did get a matcha. So good, always. And I just want you guys to know that this stuff does make me really nervous. Like, especially when it's my first time going through the season, like today I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna fit on anything. But I'm also like, oh my god, what if my pass doesn't work? And then I'm like, oh, like I have to go talk to guest services to get my pass upgraded. And I'm like, oh, what if they're like, you need this much money and I don't have that money, you know? I think about this kind of stuff all the time. But what I just try to do is I try not to focus on it. Also, according to the weather, it's supposed to pour today. But I'm like, it will not rain. I'm manifesting it. I'm like, if it rains, it will not rain hard. Like. I'm just like, there's only, there's so little we really have control over, but we have control over ourselves and how we like freak out and how we feel those emotions. Uh, so it's not that I'm trying to bottle my emotions up, it's that I'm just trying to like not explode without like thinking or not explode without doing. Because like, I don't need to freak out. That's not gonna solve anything. It's not gonna solve my anxiety. It's not gonna fix any of my problems. It's not gonna do nothing. It's gonna make it worse. Although my makeup is kind of like my my mascara is smudging today, which is weird because this mascara never smudges. So kind of annoyed. But we're gonna fix it in the parking lot. We are literally about to pull in the entrance. Ugh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know if Six Flags New England got a new ride this year. I have actually no idea. The throw capital of New England, there's their big sign. I love Six Flags so much. I love Six Flags so much. You guys, look. 
The Wicked Cyclone is gonna be right here. Oh, can you guys feel it? Can you guys feel the roller coaster adrenaline yet? Oh, I can like smell it in the air. Oh, this is just like my happy place. There's nothing else that makes me this happy in the world. Not that I've found. I can't decide whether or not I want to bring this jacket in. It would be really comfy and cozy, but I'm scared that it's too bulky and it would make me not fit on things, A, and then B, that it might get stolen off my back. Not that that's very likely, but things I think about again. Oh, they have the electronic um, chargers and preferred parking. That's really cool. That's really cool. They have like a choose your lane, which is like diamond parking, regular or not. How are you How doing are you? today? Good. You're all set. Perfect. Just Thank make you. sure when you get inside the park to get your car processed. Yeah, perfect. Thank Absolutely. you so much. You too. Thanks. See, first, all set. All set. Also, it's literally the first week, so kind of rude, but also thank you for telling me in case I didn't know. Ugh, I love to park in front of a tree for some reason. Ugh, it just does it for me. Ugh, security is right there. Lame. When I was little, my dad used to bring the grill all the time. And one time he made steaks on the grill and security was like, um, you guys can't grill here. But I was like, we've always grilled here. And it was like, no rule. And then he let us finish making the steaks first. It was actually really funny. Sometimes uh, when it's really busy, two securities on bikes and like there's a back parking lot too. So there's three main parking lots here. There's lot one, which is where we are. Lot two is in front of us. And lot three is like behind here. Well, um, this like all used to be like cornfields back in the day and now it's all a big parking lot i am so excited i know i've said it a thousand times but i'm so beyond excited this is going to be the best ever we i have just had all, like a quarter of my water bottle and like half of a matcha so i am gonna have to pee in a minute i am gonna smoke a little bit and then i'm gonna pee and we're gonna go in we're gonna go to the bathroom. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go to guest services, get everything squared away, and then we're gonna hit the rides. And I'm so excited. I will see you guys when we go in. Guys, we are deep into the park already. We are on the north end, which is where like Wicked Cyclone is. That is Six Flags New England's probably biggest coaster. Um, that's usually my test to see if I'm gonna fit, because usually that one in the past gets me every time. Fit perfect, they had to check me once, but I got on. Awesome, it was great. Nice adrenaline dress to start the day. It is currently raining, but the more it rains, the faster the rides get. So as long as I don't close the park, I am pretty happy. Um, I think we're about to head down to like the East End and go on like Superman, all those kinds of rides. So really excited. I'll keep you guys tuned. That's Thunderbolt. It's one of the oldest coasters in this park. It's 70 years old. That's Superman about to drop. I am currently down about where Superman is. There is the screen, which is the drop tower. And the Thunderbolt, which is that ride that is about 70 now. <sighs> I remember when I was little, they used to do like character meet and greets all over here. So this is like uh, Marvel Universe. Um, I actually am a liar, it's DC Universe. There used to be like a bunch of meet and greets all the time. It's really cool because we get this nice underpass on the walkway to like walk right through it. And honestly, this is a beautiful ride. Honestly, it's a little rainy, but it is beautiful and I am so grateful to be here today. Like look at that drop. So Superman is one of the best coasters in this park for the longest. 
Wicked Cyclone is still pretty new. Um, Superman has held the Great Coaster Award for I believe four or five years. Really nice, beautiful ride, and it drops so beautifully. Perfect weather right now. I am gonna go to the car, stop, take a little break, and change my jacket. Please, so please leave your rock bar. It's actually gone from being like pretty cold to now it's starting to get really warm. The sun has officially come out, it has stopped raining, so super duper exciting. Let's uh, go hang out in the car for a little bit. I also now have to pee, so now I have to like change, situate, and then go back up because I have to pee so bad. Got a stamp to go back in. So at this point in time, it is about one o'clock. I've probably been here for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, pushing two. I have ridden two rides, but they're two of the biggest rides. I've ridden Superman and I've ridden Wicked Cyclone. And I could say in the things that I've seen already this year are very like, they make me very happy. There's a lot of new people still that kind of still don't know what they're doing. But I get it, it's the first week of the season, people will come. One thing I really enjoy about this year is everything is cheaper. Everything is cheaper. Just to preface, last year for the same membership pass, so I got all my pass stuff figured out. Last year I bought a diamond membership pass for $500. This year it was $100. Locker fees for a multi-use locker, which is like you have the locker for pretty much the whole day and you can bounce around were eight dollars they're now five locker rentals for individual for like two hours went from five dollars to two dollars and i haven't looked at like food or like merchandise prices or anything but overall i'm like very proud of them and i'm really happy that they're like seeing what feedback people have given them and they're really changing and that makes me so proud and like for a bunch of you guys I know you don't like live near Six Flags or you don't know what Six Flags are or you're just not an amusement park girly. Totally fine. I appreciate you coming to the video. Let's talk Six Flags together. I love amusement parks and it is a big thing for me that they should know what they're doing. And as a business model, you should listen to your audience. But um, we are going to chill for a second and then we are going to go back into the park. I am bringing my purse this time. I already bought a multi-use locker which is a locker I have for the day and I can go everywhere. So now I'm bringing my purse. And yeah, I also have a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of this now. Usually I do like a picnic because I'm at Six Flags, it's like a bit. We've done it ever since I was little. But I don't know, I think today I kinda want a chicken dinner or something. Also, I have fit on everything so far and I'm really proud of that. And I know, like, for a lot of you guys, you're probably like, oh, like, you wouldn't fit on a roller coaster. Like, why do you even go? <sighs> and I know you guys aren't like that, but, like, that's how I felt my entire life. It's like, why do I even come if I'm scared I'm not going to fit? And it's like, that's also something that I'm like, maybe, like, I'm not, not as big as I once was. And that's a really hard concept to grasp. And that is really challenging, and I never thought it would be this hard. Never. But, you know, it's okay. We all deal with our struggles, and I'm just happy that I can make forward steps in overcoming mine. I love you guys. We are going to chill for a sec, and then I'll see you back at the park. I took out my butterfly clips, and I can't decide a sweatshirt or no sweatshirt. It's cold right here without a sweatshirt, but I feel like in the park I'll be fine. I'm like, what if I get really cold? 
I think I'm gonna just screw it and go no sweatshirt so I don't have to carry anything. Plus, if I'm really that cold, I can always just come back to the car. Um, purse in hand. This is my outfit, by the way. My Brad's t-shirt, my flare jeans, and then my, like, Nikes. Six Flags has had this thing for the last couple of years where they ripped out all their mirrors after or before COVID, but now they're all back. So, best day ever. Okay, guys, if you have not heard me talk about this staircase, this whole area used to be a stage for a Batman show when I was young. And now it's like the old DC universe down here. There's like Superman down here, which is the big ride, it's Gotham City Transit. And now there's this Wonder Woman ride, which is actually pretty cool. And then now there's another DC side on the other side of the park, which we haven't been to yet. Today, there's the Batman, the Riddler, which used to be Mind Eraser and Joker is all over there. So that's, I think we're gonna ride Superman one more time and then we're gonna head there next. I just went on Superman for the second time. I waited longer the second time, but it's starting to warm up. So that's why we are gonna head to the other side of the park and go on Batman and the Riddler. Probably not Joker. The older I get, the more that the spinning makes me sick. And then we're gonna see if Six Flags New England has a new ride. We are gonna hit Riddler first, and then we'll move over to Batman after. Just went on the Riddler, it was so nice. Everything is running a, is running a one car track today, so lines have been pretty busy, but I think they're doing that A to train their staff and B so that people feel like there's a need and a want to stand in line, and I kind of like that, I kind of respect that. I'm having a great experience today at the park. Everyone that I've talked to is so nice, there's just really good vibes. It is spring break in Massachusetts for like most high schools now. So lots of kids, but great overall experience. I think we're gonna go look at merch. So we're gonna take a break on like Batman and then we'll probably come back. But I wanna go look because I need a new Six Flags sweater. So I'm just looking, just browsing. So I did just get a drop beer. Only issue I found is there's just like the pricing was incorrect, but it might have just been tax or it might have just been low key signage. But I'm very happy, it tastes great. And uh, now I have a little souvenir cup. Um, we are gonna go to a retail store and then we are probably gonna go back here unknown yet. $30. I did get the sweater I like and I have my beer. I never spend this much money in the park, but I'm having a blast. I want to give you guys the full experience. I think I might buy lunch after. Um, at this moment, we're walking back towards the like, uh, and it's like, um, I might do that a second time. I'm going to check the wait time and we'll see where we're at. And I'm just roaming right now. Still haven't done crack axe or canyon, so that's also next on the list. And it is also raining again, which is really fun. At this time, Wicked Psycho is a five minute wait, so we are headed back there. Apparently, Superman is up to a 60 minute wait. We're about 20, maybe 30 minutes the second time I went, so I'm not surprised. Wicked Psycho for the second time done. I'd say the line was a little bit longer than last time but still not too long, a little bit longer than five minutes, because that's what they usually say when it's below 30. Um, I think I'm gonna go get another draft, and then we're gonna go get some food, because I'm just started it. This is draft number two. We're gonna hit Crack Axe Opinion now, because I'm actually starving. So JB's is my favorite, the Smokehouse Barbecue. So we're heading that way now. Back when I was little, this was like a water boat ride, and then Goliath was here for a couple of years, and then it shut down since. I just think they did such an excellent job on all of the decor and like the vibe aesthetic over here. Although Great Escape does it really well, they also have like kind of like a southern theme thing. But uh, especially for Fright Fest, it's beautiful over here. I've never been to one at Great Escape. No one else gave you this feedback, Six Flags. Thank you for bringing back mirrors. I appreciate it. Thank 
We are currently seated at JB's. They're really nice theming. They're always playing the game. And during like when the winter warmer months, there's outside seating as well. Super nice. I just got my food. I'm so excited. I get my burger only lettuce. So it's just a bacon cheddar burger and waffle fries and my Bud Light. But yeah, so excited. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go up by like Tomahawk and stuff. So this is the top part of Crag Axle Canyon with Tomahawk, which is actually one of the oldest rides here. Um, this is Roundup, I believe it's called. They put it in and plowed it two years ago. Hasn't done too hot. And then Houdini, which is unfortunately closed. Usually is, but I do love this ride secretly. Crack Axel Canyon actually has my favorite theming out of literally any other part. Because they have like that 60s kind of vibe as well in um, their main stretch, but I don't like it as much as Crack Axel Canyon. Year two is done. No, we're going on the tomahawk. It's like beautiful and rainy, so I figured we'd go to Thunderbolt. I don't know if I'm gonna fit on this ride, but let's try it. I can fit on this, I could literally fit on anything. And I fit on everything else today. No double checks besides Wicked Cyclone. And even with this sweater, I feel like I could have gone for an extra large instead of a 2X. But it's uh, amazing. The first time. This is the first time all day that there hasn't been a line. Thunderbolt has been here for, I believe, 70 years. And that's why. It is 5.30, it is now pretty much downpouring. So I'm gonna head back to the car and I will see you all there. Guys, we are officially back in the car. I just wanted to take a second to appreciate this day. This has been one of the best first Six Flags days I've ever had. I've never sent so much money and I've never had such good conversations. Today was a really great day. I'm really proud of Six Flags New England because they've really taken the advice we've given them and really run with it. And I'm amazingly proud about that. However, comma, I will leave a side note that Six Flags New England, I believe is one of the only parks that did not get a new ride this year. Um, for those of you who don't know, most Six Flags get a new ride every year. Six Flags New England did not get one. In fact, they actually took away a classic ride called the Contiki. And I feel really bad because we kind of didn't even get a send-off party when they took away the Buzzsaw, which is a ride that was taken away about two or three years ago. We got like a send-off party because it was a ride that had been there for forever. The Contiki has been there for at least 20 years. And um, we didn't get a send-off party and that makes me feel a little gross. I feel bad. <sighs> but Six Flags New England, I get it. We can't do everything. But I had a really great day at the park today, and I'm so I'm so happy that you all got to come with me. I had a lot of my ups and down moments. Like there was a time when I was at dinner and I was like, oh, I'm actually having like a really great time right now because I didn't have a book, I didn't have anything else around me. I like eating at theme parks, high key because everyone is so involved in their family and their friends and especially when you're alone it's just very fun to people watch and i truly truly enjoy just spending so much time and i i'm very proud of myself with how much i filmed this week 
this time at Six Flags. Like before, I would have never filmed this much. I just had a lot of anxiety. I'm very proud of myself. I got a lot of stares, but at the end of the day, this is something that's very important to me. Literally everything couldn't have gone more perfect today. I'm so, Im I'm so impressed. They were holding an after party from seven until nine. The park closed at seven. They were gonna stay till nine as a member only after party. I did really wanna go, but unfortunately, I don't think that's a great idea. It is still raining a little bit and I think it's just a better idea to head home for the night. But um, thank you guys so much for coming on this journey. I really hope you guys are ready for this. We are gonna be solo traveling a ton this summer. And I'm really excited to take you guys on all these fun adventures with me. Also, let me know what you guys want to see, like when we come to other Six Flags, or what do you guys want? Do you guys want to see me eat a lot of food? Do you guys want to see me look at a lot of merchandise? Do you want to see me ride a lot of rides? Like, let me know. Also, if you've noticed any changes to the channel, I am going through a little bit of a rebrand slash a little bit more of an update. Um, I'm just really trying to put more time and energy into you guys because I just love you and I love making videos. But I love you guys so much and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.